what is up guys this is mr narender and today i will explain how to convert image into illustrator file my goal is here to maintain simplicity and shorter to make this video possible for everyone to use adobe illustrator cc this is a perfect guide for someone who just started using adobe illustrator cc all right guys let's get started as you can see i'm using mac version adobe illustrator cc 2017 Let's open a reference image for this topic. In Windows, you can uh, press shortcut key control plus O. And in Mac, you can press command plus O to open a file. After opening the file, you can uh, have this window opened. And you can choose a selected image, what, uh, like whatever the image you have. And you can access all the drive folders in your system when you're choosing an image please make sure that the dimensions are more than 1000 the dimension should be in high quality and the resolution you should maintain in a high quality because when you are converting an image bitmap image to a vector image vector is nothing but a illustrator based file and the bitmap image is where photoshop based file so basically we are trying to convert a bitmap image to a vector image so bitmap image we are uh, we are taking a bitmap image at present now with a high quality dimensions and their resolution so let's let's go ahead and open this file so after opening this file you have like nothing selected here so go go ahead and open the layer option and I'm um, mentioning this layer called bitmap image go ahead and select the bitmap image here so after selecting image as you can see here there is an option mentioned called image trace if I won't select an image, that option won't be available in the property bar. So select that image. And before okay. selecting an image trace, go ahead and check the presets. I will explain you each preset what is used for. This is a high fidelity photo. This is a low fidelity photo and three colors six colors 16 colors shades of gray so there are different type of presets available available default in this software so these are nothing but high fidelity photo which contains colors same colors details and everything it will be same but when you uh, when you're uh, selecting this preset it just converts a bitmap image to vector image and you, uh, you uh, there, uh, and there won't be any differences between the bitmap and the vector images if you are selecting shades of gray as you can see here tracing my process slow with this large image would you like to continue yes and guys please make sure that your configuration is higher for this process this might take some time let's see what happens there you go guys as you can see now colored image has been changed to sh shades and gray so these these are the like different presets available default in this software so now you can see the difference here a image has been changed a bitmap image has been changed to a vector image if you zoom in you can see shapes but it, it, it it's not pixelated so i'm not going to drag this tutorial uh, more I'll, I'll show you how to convert a proper high quality image to a proper illustration file 
so let's go ahead and press ctrl z and this is the image which i took so i'm selecting the high fidelity photo and press ok and let's wait there you go guys this is a conversion just happened now you can see a bitmap image has been changed to the vector image I'll show you the difference after changing to a vector image this is how it looks so now when you zoom in it's, it's not pixelated it's properly shaped and you can see quality is too good because I I selected the high quality image so that is the reason I asked to select uh, proper dimensions and go ahead with a highly resolution bitmap image so now change uh, conversion has been done so after conversion you need to select expand I'll tell you why so now this is a bitmap image and the conversion has been done of 50% so making a 100% illustration file should make sure the expand has been clicked so this is nothing but it's a convert tracing path it converts a path and it traces to an each separated paths so it divides each path to each different layer so as you can see now when I press expand this one layer this one sub layer is going to divide into multiple layers after expanding the converted image it creates a group of layers which you can divide and you can delete if I don't want this background I can delete now you can see it it shows a different different parts here so this is how you can convert a bitmap image to a vector image thanks for watching guys please do subscribe to my channel and like my video this helps me a lot to make more videos thanks a lot hi guys